I presume then with training this week, has it been another disrupted few days with the, the cold weather? I, I knew that we've had to change some times a little bit. We got away, we trained Monday okay. Tuesday we didn't get out till about two o'clock. There was quite a little bit of waiting around. Um, and the boys are in this afternoon today, so we're hoping that it falls out. I think you can get away with day one, and then when it's day after day, consecutive freezes, I think that's a little bit the problem. Um, so that's a bit frustrating for us, but we've actually, Monday, Tuesday, we've got some good, good work in, and hopefully this afternoon we're able to do so as well. So um, if we can do that, then we'll go into the game well, well prepared and having had plenty of work throughout the week. So it's been good so far. Um, just hope it's, it's rock hard out there at the moment, but hopefully the sun's out and um, we, can get to, we can thaw out a little bit for this afternoon because it's certainly um, another little challenging period in that sense, but actually it hasn't caused us too much problem so far. Yeah, were you able to tweak fairly quickly with last weekend and use that to the best of it, really, in that it was quite late with the postponement and I guess you've basically done all of the preparation, but were you able to, to adapt okay? Literally just finished training. Um, I was just about to go through the team and we were about to have our meeting. So what actually happened was we, we um, extended the session and just worked longer. I mean, that, that was hard for the players because you in a mindset of... Um, ready for a game you've done your you've done your prep throughout the week ready for it and then literally at the end of training I'm saying breaking news the game's off and now we're going to have to work so when you're not usually working on a Friday and you've not mentally prepared yourselves they then had to um, they then had to really put a shift in for a little bit so we just extended that then they had uh, the weekend off we knew we wouldn't get on the training ground on Saturday morning really because the rain that was forecast overnight and the conditions that we'd faced last week so it stretched out Friday session and they had a couple of days off Obviously, having not played Saturday, everyone comes in Monday ready to work again. So we were able to get two good working days, Monday, Tuesday. Um, and then obviously we can, we can carry that on and do some prep work today. So I've adjusted to that quite well, really. Um, obviously a bit frustrating, but at the same time, we've been able to deal with that in a, in a fairly good way since. Yeah, the biggest blow really from the weekend, of course, is that through not playing, you've ended up in the relegation zone. But I guess you'd tell me it's a bit like when you're at the other end of the table, you get in the automatic promotion places in December. That gives you a bit of a boost, but ultimately it doesn't count for anything halfway through the season. And this is, is kind of similar? I think so. I mean, I, I, don't, I don't really get wrapped up in the drama of that. I mean, it's taken um, 60 something games for us to be in the bottom four in this league when everyone said we'd never get out of it from day one so I guess in effect that's that's a fairly uh, good reflection of where we've been but at the same time you don't want to be there but um, I don't think it matters so much now in 21 games it does and, and I think when you look at the bottom probably eight teams in the league at the moment it's a bit like there's a few other leagues the Premier League's the same it's so condensed down there I'm pretty sure over the next six to eight weeks, those positions are going to chop and change every single weekend. So if you start getting obsessed by, are we above the line, below the line, 17th, 18th, 20th, 21st, it'll drive you crazy. The challenge doesn't change at all. We've got to win um, more games, we've got to get more points, and we've got to have a target of what we're aiming for, and that's where we've got to get in 21 games time. So it's not so much about where we are now, but more about where we're going to get to. So there's no... Um, there's nothing we can do about that other than try and influence our own performances on the pitch. And of course, other teams' results will, will play a part in uh, what happens. But fundamentally, it'll be us that drives that. And whilst it's the opposite end of the table to our promotion year, the theory is exactly the same. Whether we're fourth, fifth, sixth, third, at any point, everyone sort of overreacts to what that is. It doesn't really matter. Um, it's the result that matters in the end. So we're going to have to um, work towards that. That's the most important thing for us. With the preparation for Shrewsbury, is it a little more straightforward given you only played them a, a month ago? Yeah, it's funny actually. The, I think pretty much the Boxing Day fixtures are repeating themselves. And um, having waited a long time to play a team, you're playing them quite quite quickly again. Neither team have changed too much in that couple of weeks. Um, both had similar runs of form actually since. And obviously, um, we've got them fairly fresh in their mind of, of to what to expect. I... I went to watch their game at Burton on Saturday. Um, obviously, we had the chance to do that, so we were out watching games. So I went to Burton to watch that game to see what they, where they were. And um, other than Killian Phillips, young boy from Palace, that they've signed in midfield or attacking midfield, they're, they're pretty much the same as when we when we played them previously. So that helps because we can remind the players a little bit of that and what went well for us on the day and where we need to 
uh, do better or be really aware of for, from their perspective. They're, they'll be buoyed by their result last week for sure. Four 0 away win was was an excellent one. Um, but we're well prepared going into the game and, and looking forward to it. So hopefully we can put together a really good performance. Um, knowing that the amount of work when we when we revisit the work in the video and today, um, I think the players will be able to remember quite quickly um, that that game one because we obviously won the game and got a positive result but two because it's fresh enough in your mind that you, you can have a, a reminder of what the opposition looked like with working on the fitness of ryan bennett you mentioned that last week the disruption isn't ideal for him because you just want to get him out on the grass i guess therefore this week similar yeah um we, we were able to train monday tuesday which was good for him so um he probably didn't have as good a week last week as we hoped because he, he sort of Ended up not having a, a day's work potentially on the Saturday, really. Didn't, didn't do so much on the Saturday. I think it was the Tuesday in the week when we couldn't get outside that he, he, he missed sessions. So he's been able to put a couple of days together this week. So he's certainly edging closer towards being ready to play for us. So we've got to make the call whether that's this weekend or not. But um, he's certainly getting closer, which is really good for us. For the past couple of weeks, slow up the likes of uh, Brandon Hornstrup, Okunabiri as well, who you felt were a bit closer than some of the others. you just got to take your time with that. Yeah, certainly the case of Brandon. I mean, Fajiri's training really well and he's, um, I wouldn't blink about putting him on the pitch now. So he's, he's sort of ready to go and, and try to get back into action. Obviously, when you're out for a long period of time to try and just get people fit through games when the games are so important is a difficult task. So he may have to be patient in that period, but at the same time, he's, um, he's certainly much closer to being being ready and available to go on the pitch for us, which is a, another one because prior to his injury, I thought he was playing really well and, and, and got into a... A position where we thought he could really impact the team um, so that's the challenge now to get him back to that point yeah you kind of know that with him that he's got the he can deliver the goods it's just getting him out on the pitch on a regular basis and he'll be he'll be desperate to do that yeah I mean he was in really good shape actually when the injury occurred last time and um, he, he played in cup competitions he played parts in league games he started in the game at Wickham um, and, and he was training really well and we know that he can be a creator of chances and a scorer of goals so um, if we can if we can get that out of him then obviously that will be um, be good for all of us and with the transfer window more generally is it still the housing chain type situation where you've got your irons in the fire but you're waiting for it all to, to fall into place. Yeah, exactly that. It's been um, interesting, actually. We were talking about it yesterday. There's not been a massive amount that's happened so far. I think we've seen quite a few first loans and, and quite a few big transfers, but there hasn't been huge amounts. What you, what you know when you're speaking to all the agents and the clubs that we are is there is everyone attempting to be active, but it takes the first few bits to fall before the next bits happen. And I think so many are conditional on other transfers happening. So... Um, at the moment, we're sort of stuck in a situation where we don't look like doing anything else before the weekend um, without like, you know, no, no lack of effort there at all. It's just um, a frustrating process to actually get sort of things done. So hopefully early next week we'll be able to, to land certainly one and, and potentially an extra one on top of that. But we'll, um, we're torn between A, wanting to get players in the door, but also knowing that the value and the quality that can come available later in the window, if you hold your nerve a little bit, can be even stronger. So the task is we want to get as strong as we can, as quick as we can. But in the end, we want to get to the end of the window with the best possible squad we can get. So we mustn't just take the first few players that are available if they're not quite the right ones or we feel we can do better later in the window. So that's where we are at the moment, just waiting on uh, one or two things and, and hopefully we can uh, do a little bit more in the next, or certainly before the deadline. Cool, that's great for me. Morning Mark, just on that point, does that mean that you're confident that you are gonna get the business done that you need to do this window? We'll definitely sign more players, um, yes, for sure. So I'm, I'm, I'm quite confident that we'll add and we'll be a stronger squad exactly who they are and when that is at the moment is, is a little bit more difficult to comment on. Um, but we, there's no doubt that we've got the ability to, to sign the players and um, we've got plenty of good options in line. And, and we're just hoping that one or two of the right ones can land in the next sort of two weeks or just under two weeks now. So, yeah, I'm, I'm really confident that we'll add to the squad. Um, and, and I know that that will obviously have to happen by 31st of, of Jan and hopefully we're not sat eating pizza at 10.30 on that night waiting because um, we'd like to get it done a little bit sooner than that if we can but it will be a little bit of um, just just time to, to get things done so 
yeah, watch this space. Yeah, just on the injury front, how many players are you kind of expecting to have before the, the end of the month at this stage? Cool, crikey. Injured players fit? Yes. Injured players returning? Um, we hope Lloyd Jones will be fit to return. Dimmy's close, Mitoff. We, we expect him to be fit going into probably February. Um, so certainly those two in the first instance. Fajiri, obviously, we now count in as back in with us. So certainly those ones. I wouldn't have thought anybody else in the first instance, um, but hopefully not too far away with the next batch. But, but by the time we get into February, I'd like to hope that all of those are available for selection. So has Brandon Hornstrup had a bit of a setback? Yeah, he has really. Yeah, he's had a bit of a setback in his calf. So um, we don't expect that to be this month. That'll be sometime into February. So hopefully we can, um, we can get him back in, back in available in that period of time. Um, obviously, we've got, we've got sort of three left backs out injured at the moment, so it's a bit of a strange situation to be in. But um, yeah, hopefully he'll be back soon. And, and then a couple of the other longer term ones, maybe at some point in February, but we'll have to see how that goes in the next uh, week or so. With Steve Seddon, does he go back to Oxford to recover from his injury, or how does that work? Do you try and keep him involved with the group? Or? Yeah, no, he's, um, he's had his operation. He's at home at the moment, but he should be back in with us next week. So he will do his. Uh, rehab with us um, and, and get himself going again with us once he's uh, once he's allowed back in. Pretty much the first week after, um, pretty much the first week after um, his surgery, he's needed to be at home. So he's had his follow up appointment with the surgeon, and then uh, he should be back in with us next week. How much confidence can you take from the win against Shrewsbury on Boxing Day? Uh, well, we've had three games that didn't go our way since, so I don't I don't know if. I don't know where you get your confidence from. It comes at all different times and all different places. But in the end, it's another game that we've got to go and be a competitive team in. They've, they've been good at home. Um, that was a close game that we found to go our way. Obviously fell behind and um, got ourselves back in the game quickly with a brilliant goal from Shiloh. And the subs on that day made a really big impact for us. And then we finished the game strongly. So we were really pleased actually with that result because it's a, it was a tough game. They were in a really good run of form at that period. And we know that it'll be a, another tough game this weekend. But I think we've got a, a point where you almost have to... Re, we're very good at resetting ourselves and just going again and, and, and being recharged to go. And that's sort of the mentality we're going to need 21 times between now and the end of the season. Try not to carry the weight of the previous games at all. Try and have a genuine belief that we're a good side and we can win games. Um, and if we get that right, then, then I'm sure we'll win more than we lose. It's obviously been quite a cold week. Are you confident that the game will go ahead? Yeah, I think so. I've looked at the temperatures there. I mean, if they've covered the pitch, I don't see any reason why um, that wouldn't go ahead. I think minus two, minus three potentially is the worst it gets. So I don't think we've heard anything other than that. So I'm, I'm fairly hopeful that the game will go ahead. We could do with it going ahead, obviously, having now not played last week and um, with the Fleetwood game as well. We've got a few Tuesday games totting up. So hopefully we can get that game on at the weekend. I, I've not heard anything to the contrary on that. So, um, yeah, we'd expect to, to be there and we'll travel there tomorrow. Just finally, uh, I think the fans want me to ask this question. There's been speculation linking you with a move for Michael Morrison. Is there any, anything in that at all? I thought you were going to say linking me with a move then, Stephen. I thought, <laughs> surely not. Not anymore. Um, look, we're, well, I think we're looking for all sorts of players at the moment, mate. And, and Michael's obviously one that I know well um, and has a connection to the club. So I don't want to shut that one down completely. But at the same time... Um, until anything is done or is even possible. We can't really say any more than that. So it's a potential option for us um, as we look to try and strengthen across the whole squad, but certainly not something that's uh, really close to happening for sure.